Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to Reading Aristotle's Nicomathian Ethics. Today we're looking at Chapter 5 of Book 6, uh, 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 which continues a, a discussion of the so-called five ways of, of truing. Um, um, so far we've done two of them, uh, a pit, now three of them in that sense. We, no, no, we have done two, two or five. We have done uh, a science, episteme, then we have done art, techne. And today we're dealing with the, the middle very of the original, both in the, it is, the, it was the middle one of the first, the beginning of chapter three, where he starts out the list, and that first little beginning of it, starts from starting again, and we're going to give the five ways of truing, and he gives that list. And then, and there is the third, it is the middle again. So phronesis, phronesis, prudence, phronesis. Latin is prudence, Greek is phronesis. This is a big question. Should we translate it as the Latin people tradition? People like prudence, but the problem with prudence it became you know safety concerned. You know, Machiavelli warped of term. Prudence became seen as like you know Dana Carvey in the uh, uh, Saturday Night Live used to have uh, the church lady and then even as uh, George Herbert Walker Bush, it wouldn't be prudent. Prudent meant careful, care. But that's not what prudent means. Prudent means, in its original sense, it means doing the right thing. It's knowing what to do, knowing the true and false, knowing what is true regarding to action. Right? So let's turn to it. Let's go right to the text. As for what concerns prudence, we might grasp it, it by contemplating though whom uh, contemplating, theory, theorizing, whom we say to be prudent. So therefore, we first look at, we look at, we contemplate, we look at, observe, you know, look at, think about, think about those whom we say are prudent. It seems to belong to the prudent person to be able to deliberate beautifully, nobly, beautifully about uh, kalon, kalos, you know, beautifully about things good and advantageous for himself, not in a partial way, for example, the sort of things conducive to health or to strength, but also the sort of things conducive to living beautifully, living well, and uh, 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 living well in general. In other words, it's not only about specific things, but health. It's, it's, it's not only about, you know, specific things about conducive to health and to, to well, but living well in general, like the good life. It's knowing what is the right, how to, uh, what is good and advantageous to the self, not only conducive to particular things, not in a partial way, not only in a partial way, because there is that their prudence does actualize, actualize and help you do the partial, but it also know it helps you also to, to, but prudence really focuses on the larger issue of living, living well in this larger sense, right? Living well in general. A sign of this is that we say that people are in fact prudent about something, whether they calculate well with a view to some serious, serious end in matters of which there is no techne, no art. In other words, in matters that are there, there's no art. That if we say a prudent person is one, there's a, they calculate well in some serious, uh, in a, a, a Serious in a view to some serious end, where there is no art in question or technique. As a result, the person skilled in deliberating would, in general, also be prudent. So the, the skilled the person who is the, the person who has the skilled in deliberation who deliberates well, this is the prudent person as well. But nobody deliberates about things that cannot that cannot be otherwise, or about things that he himself cannot act on. In other words, you don't deliberate. In other words, you, one does not deliberate on things. What, now, deliberation means it must, in other words, it has to come into being. In other words, things, it, it, in other words, things that cannot be otherwise. In other words, things that cannot be otherwise, or things that I cannot do act on. One does not deliberate. Okay, as a result, if in fact science is accompanied by demonstration, 
but no demonstration is possible when it comes to things whose origins or arche, whose arches admit of being otherwise. For all such things admit of being otherwise as well, right? In other words, the origins themselves admit of being otherwise. And if it is not possible to liberate about the things that exist of necessity, then prudence would not be a science or an art. Semicolon. In other words, it, it's it liberate. It's not it, things of necessity. Things of necessity is the things that exist of necessity is not something you deliberate about. You cannot deliberate about the things that cannot be otherwise. Things that are of of, of what he says. Things. In other words, there's no demonstrative principle. You cannot do demonstrations of things that are otherwise. There's, you cannot do axioms. The axioms themselves would be otherwise, right? Could be otherwise in that sense. The principle itself could be otherwise. And if it's not possible to liberate about the things that exist of necessity, right, then prudence would not be a science or an art. Not a science because the things bound up with the relevant action admits of being otherwise. So science is only bit things that are things that are things that don't admit being otherwise. Um, uh, but the prudence deals with the things that being otherwise and not an art because of because the genus of praxis action is different from that of making. In other words, it's, it's it deals with action, not making. It remains, therefore, that prudence is a true characteristic, a true, it is a characteristic that is true, that is bound up with action, accompanied by reason, and concerned with things good and bad for human beings. The good and bad things for human beings. Is reasons and it's actions accompanied by reasons, and those actions are concerned with things good or bad for human beings. For the making, the end is something other than the making itself. And for the, it's for the use, right? It's for the use. The, the end is for the use. The making of the thing, I make it for something, right? The action is, whereas of action, praxis, there would not be any other end. Acting well itself is an end. So action is an end in that sense. It has a. It is the. Re, it is that which is towards. That it, it, uh, it, uh, and therefore it is an acting well is the end. And what is that living well, right? Doing and faring well, right? That is the ending of the uh, Republic, right? Uh, you know, the, 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 the ending of. Um, on account of this, we suppose Pericles and those of that sort to be prudent. Now, this is, you know, I stop here. Um, Pericles, the Athenian statesman, peak of a city power, he pressed perhaps remember today because of, of uh, his powerful praise of the democratic Athens in his hero speech, right? We, this is Pericles, right? On account of this, we think Pericles be and that sort prudent because they are able to observe, observe, or, or in other words, contemplate, theory is interesting, observe or contemplate, theorize the good things for themselves and uh, those for human beings and others, right? In other words, for themselves and others, for those and for human beings. They're able to, in other words, is, there is a contemplation. There is a, there, there is a kind of, they are contemplating, uh, uh, they are contemplating about what, but this is, remember, this deals with action things that are good for themselves and for human beings, others, right? Now, but remember, this is interesting, that household management, is it an art or a tech? You know, we say that, now notice that, 
the, 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 the through cities of these guys, they're, they, they, uh, we we suppose that they are prudent because we observe uh, 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 they, that they are able to contemplate the good, uh, observe or know, know, kind of knowing uh, the good things for themselves and uh, uh, those of human beings. We hold that skillful man, household managers, economical, the o o economicals, and the politicians are of this sort too. That they that we that, that remember this, but remember, but isn't po uh, politique and art, and isn't house uh, uh, economicals and art economique and art? So there is, in other words, we have to distinguish between the knowing, the end, not the doing. Okay, the doing is a technique. The end by which they do the art is the uh, 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 prudence, knowing what is the end to do, what to, the, the reason for that. Remember that the art, the art is the techne of the art is in the artist doing it and the thing being made. So therefore, the art it leads to a, something being made. Now, the use of the thing that is made. The use of it, the action of it, how it is used and what is done with it, this requires prudence. The making of it is the art. The use of the thing made by the art is the action of prudence in that sense, right? That's why you can say that the household manager and the politician are of this sort too. This is why we call moderation, sofosune, it, uh, by its name on the grounds that it preserves prudence, for, uh, uh, and it does, uh, and it does preserve the sort of conviction indicated. Right now, twenty-eight. This is a note. This is a thing. Aristotle's epistemology is untranslatable. Uh, he indicates that uh, uh, moderation, sofosune, contains within it the suggestion that it preserves. Spo, spo zu san and prudence for ni sin. Now he says, consider also Plato's Cradius. Okay, this is the this is a, a dialogue in Plato which deals with this kind of this this connection of these two things, preservation of prudence. So he makes a very uh, he makes a pun here. He's doing a pun here in that sense. Um, There is this kind of pun that he wants to make here. Um, so that moderation by its name on the ground that it preserves prudence. And it does preserve the, the sort of conviction indicated. In other words, that there is, it preserves the possibility of one can be prudent. That's it. Right? So for Sune, by its name on the ground, that it preserves prudence. Is a, okay. Um, for it is not every conviction that the pleasant and pain, in other words, for it is not every conviction that the pleasant and painful ruin, now Aristotle 29 is, destroys or corrupt, dio uh ruin, that the pleasant and the painful ruin and distort. For example, uh, that the triangle has or does not have angles equal to the sum whose sum is equal to two right angles, but rather those convictions concerning action. In other words, in other words, convictions about angles don't lead uh, that the pleasant and painful ruin and distort. Rather, those concerning action, those those convictions concerning action can ruin and distort. For the principles of actions are that the end for the sake of which the actions are undertaken. In other words, the principles of action are are uh, uh, are that ends that end for the sake of which the action. So the principle of action, the RK of actions, is why they were done. For which the action is undertaken. But to someone who has been ruined on account of pleasure and pain, 
the principle immediately fails to uh, the the principle the principle the, the principle the RK the RK of the end appear, immediately fails to appear make itself manifest it fails to make itself manifest and it is not manifest to him that he ought to choose all things and to and act for uh, the sake of this and on account of it now, th this is something that even heidegger highlights this is this is that what is what is the thing that deals with a knowing rk see what it, it is a, in other words the prince something is the principle of the action has to be manifested that what is the action what is the purpose of the action the end the end of the action is the, uh, the big principle the rk the end of the action the end of that what is the end what is the correct end of action and prudence is knowing what is the correct action but therefore there is this but what is that that discerns or uncovers the arche? It makes, remember, this is why it, it, there is kind of a, uh, there's something weird going on here in the Greek, that there is almost this no way, the, the, in other words, prudence is the doing, the knowing what is the correct action. It's true, knowing what is true and what, what action is true and what action is false. What is the correct thing, the correct way of doing it, how to do it and do it in a way. It's a virtue in that sense, right? It's what to do, how to do, and, and the degree to doing it, right? And that it, it follows all the criteria of virtue. Uh, it then adds the question of knowing regarding what is true in the action. In this act to be done, what is the true and what is the false? What is the correct? What is the true and what is the correct? What is the uh, uh, the correct or the incorrect? The true and the false. And therefore, what should be affirmed and what should be denied, right? And this, um, and tied to this problem here. Um, so, so the actions are taken for some reason, right? And as therefore, this is the problem. It is not manifest. It is not manifest to him that he ought to choose all things and to act for the sake of uh, uh, on this account. If, in other words, if he's not sound, if he's imprudent, he doesn't discern the truth. He doesn't see the principle. It's not. Man, it doesn't become manifest that the the un the immoderate, the one who lacks moderation, will not see what is this, and therefore cannot be prudent. The prudent is preserves the possibility of moderation, preserve prudence in that sense. Right? That moderation preserves the prudence in that sense, right? And that therefore you can discern the thing that is what is the correct action, what is the the proper end, the, the proper reason for this, the, the the principle, right? The arche for which the the action is done. sake of this and the kind of this for vice is ruinous of the principle rk for vice is ruinous of the rk in terms of action as a result prudence is necessary a characteristic accompanied by reason in possession of the truth and bound up with action pertaining to the human goods now the man he says the manuscript here is different and another possible translation is the manuscripts differ here. So another possible translation, prudence is necessary, a characteristic accompanied by true reason and bound up with actions pertaining to the human goods. That's the other interpreter here. Now, let's continue. He says, and although there is a, uh, there is a virtue of an art, even though there, and although there is a virtue of an art, because art is a virtue, right? There is not a prudence. So there is a virtue, that there is a virtue of an art. There is not a prudence. In the case of an art, it is more cho choice worthy for one, for one to err voluntarily less, to err voluntarily less choice worthy uh, less choice worthy in the case of prudence as in the other uh, as as also in the other version in other words in art you can err 
sometimes an error actually makes the, the art better. It is more choice worthy for one to err voluntarily in prudence, hence the virtue. That's why there was a virtue in art. The, the virtue of art is knowing when to err in art, okay? And art is doing the, the correct thing, it's doing what is true for this, but then there's a virtue in art, but there's not a virtue in prudence. Virtue, prudence is the virtue. The art is both, there's, there's a virtue of the art. And the art itself is kind of a virtue. But there is a virtue of the art. That is because why? Because sometimes voluntarily erring makes it more choice worthy, makes the thing that is made more choice worthy. But this is not the case in regarding action, prudence. It is clear then that prudence is a certain virtue, is a certain virtue and not an art. And since there are two parts of the soul having reason, prudence would be the virtue of the one of them, namely the part involved in the formation of opinions. So two parts of the soul having reason. The prudence would be the, you can, you can all, in the words, would be uh, 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 the virtue of the one of them, namely the part involved in the formations of opinion, doxa, doxa. So what is the part of the soul that deals with doxa? It's about, well, you only have opinions about things that are possible, the things that come into being, things that are can be otherwise. Things that are and are not, you could, you know, if you know them, you either know them, you either know them and are right, there's not an opinion about them, you know what they are, they are what they are. And if you know them, you know them. Now, of course, you can have opinions about what you don't know, but once you know them, then it's either is what it is or it is not, right? That is the, that thing. But regarding things that come into being, there might be a, a level of error here, right? That there is a level of error, you, you get it wrong, but also what, there's also the thing about, the, the, this is what opinions are, belief, formation of opinion. So for both opinion and prudence are concerned with that which admits of being otherwise. So opinions, doxo, and prudence are concerned with not of the internal things. This is interesting. Things that don't admit being otherwise, the eternal things, there cannot be opinions about them in that sense. Hmm. You, they are or there are not. But things that admit to be otherwise, there can be opinions of this. And prudence and opinions, opinions and prudence are concerned with that which admits being otherwise. Yet prudence is also not solely a characteristic, yet prudence is also, also, not solely a characteristic accompanied by reason. A sign of which is that it is possible to forget such a characteristic, but not to forget prudence. In other words, prudence is also not solely a characteristic accompanied by reason. A sign of which is that it is possible to forget such a characteristic. So it's not a, it is not a characteristic accompanied by reason. The other things are a characteristic accompanied by reason, but prud can you know that you know, it is you know the thing plus it can be that thing making that is accompanied by reason, right? Here, no, it is reasoning only. It's not. There is not a. It is. It is solely. The prudence is also not solely a characteristic accompanied by reason, a sign of which that it is possible to forget such a characteristic, right? But not to forget prudence. Now, 31, consider here St. Thomas, prudence is not con 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 uh, con con uh, uh, connected with reason alone as art or science, but is but it requires rectitude of a appetite of faculty. A sign that uh, of this is that a habit in 
in the reason alone can be forgotten. For example, art uh, 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 and science, unless the habit is a natural one like that of understanding. Prudence, however, uh, is not forgotten by disuse, but is destroyed by a cessation of right desire while, re while remaining uh, um, uh, 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 a cessation of uh, uh, right desire, which, while remaining, is continually engaged with the things that belong to prudence, so that oblivion cannot come, uh, 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 oblivion cannot come on, along unaware. Right. This is the commentary Aristotle here of, of Aquinas. Aristotle, you know, the Thomas's commentary on Aristotle's Ethics, lecture on uh, 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 on uh, eleven. 74, right? Um, and that ends the chapter, right? That ends the chapter. He ends, uh, 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 forget prudence. We can't forget prudence. In other words, it's not a characteristic, it's not a characteristic of company with reasoning. It is, it is, uh, it, it, because it, it, you can forget the characteristic. You don't forget prudence. So prudence is this right reason, this reasoning and this right reasoning towards concerned about the end, the end towards which it is. And this is concerned about living well and faring well, right? Doing well, living well. Um, we end here. That's it. Uh, uh, this ends the discussion of prudence. We tend to turn to the chapter six next, which is about news, but it goes about, it's a really weird chapter, so we'll talk about it. It's a very short chapter, so it'll be very interesting. So let's stop here. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below, and I will respond to them when I see them. Uh, if you have any other issues about this, you want further understandings, maybe uh, about what prudence means. And this is a very, you know, uh, 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 you know, prudence is prudence is a very important theme uh, in this. Uh, another thing you do is if you like it, hit the like button. Please hit the like button. It helps the algorithm. Um, uh, like it, share it with your friends, share it on social media. Again, all doing that, sharing far and wide. The more you share it, the, the more likely it, it helps the algorithm. It brings it to attention of others. If you have not subscribed, please sus consider subscribing because, um, please subscribe really, because it that also helps the growing the, not only growing the channel, but also help grow the, you know, get the attention of others in that things. And if you know someone who might be interested, introduce the chat channel to your friends or those who you know will be interested in some of the themes we cover here, please again help the channel grow some. Another thing you can do is if, well, uh, um, if you did not like it, you can always say no. You had some, you have a problem with something I did or disagree. You can always hit the thumbs down, but also say why in the comments, because this is, can be a way that people can learn. Again, we're doing this, I'm doing this to kind of uh, to get people to understand this and what's going on here. So therefore, if you have a problem, please say what it is so we can learn. We can, either I can learn and others can learn, right? Um, if you want to follow me on social media, the social media links are below. If you want to know, know more about me as a researcher and a scholar and as an academic, you can follow my academic social media links below those. You can find out more through those through my scholarship and my research. Um, another thing you can do is you want to help me to do what I do, in this sense, financially assist. You can do so by becoming through subscribe to our Patreon. Links are below. Another way you can help is uh, financially, in that sense, is buy one of my books. The books are listed below, and you can go to use, you can buy it through your local bookstore or through an online distributor like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, or any other similar places. Well, that's it. We'll see each other next time when we look at chapter six. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.